Hey, good evening. It's Tuesday, June 4th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. The last night we talked about longing for freedom. And what we're really talking about is having hearts that are free. Having free hearts to worship God, to sing God's praises, to have heart music that is in sync with who God is. And not just in church on Sunday, but more importantly, as you walk along life's paths every day. Psalm 98 says this, begins this way, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known. He's revealed his righteousness to us. And then he, in verse 4 of this psalm, he goes on to say, Shout for joy all the earth. Burst into jubilant song with music. And then he says, Make music to the, harp, to the Lord with harp. With harp and the sound of singing. God wants our hearts to join with creation. See, the view you see right now is a cloudy sky. The camera is covering some of that up. Let me, let me change it for you here. That's what's really there. See, now that the camera is off of me in its terms of exposure and looking back towards the sunset, now we see this glorious vision, this glorious song that God is writing. See, the music of God is ongoing in our lives. If we're going to be free, if we're going to long for righteousness, righteousness that makes you and me free, we have to have the music of God playing in our hearts. And this music needs to be there all the time. To the hard times, to the joyous times, to the supposedly mundane times. And when you look at a situation like what's behind my shoulder, there's always reason to be in awe of God, to be blown away by Him. True righteousness is rejoicing in what God has done for us. Jesus was righteous because I cannot be righteous. But now, because He was righteous, in response to gratitude, I can pursue Him. This is what Paul is telling us. He's picking up on Jesus' words about righteousness. But in Colossians 3, he says this, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. And listen to this, as you sing hymns, psalms, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Making music filled with gratitude in your hearts to God. See, that's what is being pushed here urged us to. We are flooded with music. Music is powerful. But it needs to direct us to God. And then get it out of the church setting. In some ways, even remove it from the worship music setting. And put it in a setting like this. This God who is creating around us. Each day, every day I come out here, there's a different vision behind me. Doing something different with the clouds. Something different with the weather. There's storms behind me in the background. Another hour or so, they'll probably be here. God is writing music for our lives. For us to be in sync with. We're commanded over and over again to sing. But it's the singing of a heart that is blown away by God. No one, you don't need any audience. You need to know that beautiful music, just like you're hearing the birds right now. Praise God for the sound that they make. Music. It's within us. Don't let the music of a world that hates God move you away from the wonderful music of the Creator. He's saying that the creation is singing. He's saying that our hearts are be so overflowed, overflowing with gratitude 
that our hearts sing with music. This comes from the righteousness of God. Not the righteousness that you and I create, but the righteousness that He creates. And now, because of Christ, we can walk in that way of righteousness. We can pursue freedom. We can pursue joy. We can pursue, pursue hearts that are overwhelmed, blown away, carried along by the rhythm of the Spirit through His Word to make the joy and riches of God known to us. Don't make the mistake of letting the world tell us that everything is gray and without hope. Open the Word of God, and when we do, we get to see what's really happening. We get to see the joy, the power, the wonder of God. But we need the eyes of this book to make it happen. Because this book was written by His Spirit under the direction of His Son so that we could bring honor to our Father. Heart music. Let your heart music be God's music. Again, love your thoughts, feedback. This is so important. And, um, keep thinking about this, because it's vital to us. Whose music is dominant in your heart? Thanks so much for being here, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.